In an effort to expand the vaccination process in America, the CDC Tuesday announced strong recommendations to lower the age of vaccine eligibility from 75 to 65. When people are ready to get vaccinated, we're going to move right on to the next level so that there are not vaccine doses that are sitting in a freezer or refrigerator where they could be getting into people's arms. After the new year, people in our community started getting shots. My father, Alan Melser, falls in that age category, receiving his shot a few days ago. He's currently retired and lives in Florida, a state with a large population over 65, which has already been implementing the 65 and older rule. My dad told me the process was slow rolling out, but has picked up steam. So I think what's happening in Florida is uh, they understand that the seniors have to get it first but they're still in the learning stage of how to implement that. Doctors we spoke with on the front lines in Maryland are applauding the move, hoping that the state will follow suit. I'd like to see it expanded um, to the 1B and, and, and 2 community as soon as possible. Um, I think that's where we're hitting some roadblocks uh, just because it's, it's not easy to vaccinate millions of people. The state's acting deputy health secretary appearing on the C4 and Brian Neiman show on WBAL radio said the department is evaluating the recent changes and announcements. And as we get more vaccines, we will expand to more and more populations. And so we urge people to be patient that we are pushing it out as quickly as we get it. And state health, health officials also told us via email that Maryland remains in phase 1A until further notice that it will expand as quickly as it can, depending on vaccine availability. We're live in Randallstown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.